tried to pull a pole out my hand. This one grunting. Buddy. <laughs> yeah guys what we doing we staying with those big jig heads right now still in the dead heat of the summer water temperature are high they're hot they're fishing deep 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 that's our friend mr walter right there he's killing them on the live pogies that's why switch to we're going to use some of our clear baits like a pogey color using magneto right now that's a good one While the dogs attack the fish, I'll go over to set up here. Got the half ounce. Whether you're using the golden eye, black platinum, or this, this is the bull's eye. Not too worried about that, but you definitely want our bigger jig head. We're fishing 20 plus foot of water here in the middle of the Wrigley's Pass. And this is very common to catch these trout real deep like this when we're in the heart of the summer. Going to try to Get it, get it back down in the bottom in this deep water. See if we can catch, keep catching them right here next to Mr. Walter, who's really doing well with live pogies. is throwing it way up current. We got a very light falling tide. And the reason I cast it so far is by the time it gets down to the bottom in this real deep water, it takes several seconds. So by the time it hits the bottom, it's right where I want it to be. Close to these pilings here. And as you can see, I haven't started jigging yet because I'm still waiting for it to hit the bottom. There it goes. And it's just a nice light little dribbles. You're not going to feel much of a strike. That's why you really want to watch your line closely to see if it moves or does anything out of the ordinary. Because a lot of times your line moving oh, is what'll tell you where to where the fish are. A little rascal. Let him go. Yeah. 
hold on, simple, hold on, hold on, hold on, buddy, hold on, simple, 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 simple. This is a nice one. You can't bite that one. You can hear this one grunting. As that, most anglers know that that means a male trout. That's part of their spawning ritual. They do that a lot in the summertime when the spawn's still on. Nice speck. So that trout tore up the head of the bait a little. Before I put a new one on, just show y'all something. You get another few fish out of it sometimes, you just bite the head off, re-enter that hook and a new meat off that plastic. You're just shortening the bait up. Trust me, they'll still hit it. feel anything and it's one of the nicer fish we've caught. That one tried to pull the pole out my hand. Walter's got one on a pogey and we got one on a matrix shad that looks like a pogey. He's definitely out fishing us, but you know us, we, we can get away with catching them on plastic. That's what we want to do. Now, I was planning on going to the marsh to do a little red fishing. It's that, typically, that's what we do in the summer, but when I'm coming through the pass, anytime I see a light current, I will stop and make a peek on this. I went up and down the bridge a little bit, not doing much, and then I saw Walter catching them pretty good with the pogies. So we came in here a little bit close to him, but giving him plenty enough room where we're not in his way. Tied on the Magneto, put it on a heavy jig head, and here we are going to town on him with him. But um, you, when you're fishing these deep passes like Ellen in, this bridge, Unknown Pass, Chef Mentor area, the main passes that connect Bourne and Pontchartrain, you only want to fish those on a changing tide or on light tide days. You got to be able to get that bait down to the bottom and you're just simply not going to do it to catch these guys here if the current's moving too hard. So we got a nice little falling tide today. Pretty much optimal conditions on what I look for. give up on a cast especially when you're deep water jigging once you get that bait down in 20 foot you want it to stay down there you saw right there I had multiple swings and misses but when you swing and miss with this deep water you let it go straight back to the bottom let it go straight let, let it go straight back to the bottom a lot of times, nine out of ten times, you know, it's a school of them down there fighting over it. So one gets it, he misses it. Another one gets it, he misses it. You let it go back to the bottom. One eventually will get it. So hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. Some tips and techniques on fishing very deep water. This is very uncommon for Louisiana. This is uh, this is about as deep as we fish. But that's what our fish do over here in the Pontchartrain Basin in the middle of the summer as they go deep because water temperatures are really warm and this is where the bait migrates through and this is just great areas 
all of the bridges, L and N, you know, all of the passes, Bayou Thomas, the castle by the Missago. We're looking for 20 foot, even to 30 foot of water, using big jig heads or golden eye jig heads to get that bait down, catching nice specks like this one right here. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Doc's Eye TV. Make sure to subscribe to our monthly bait box and get your hands on some good jig heads to use when fishing deep water in the middle of the summer. Subscribe to the monthly bait box and then also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We got plenty of episodes fishing summertime trout and summertime reds if that's what you like to do. Till next time guys, good fishing.